Hello friends, well Peter is here after training, much stronger and more endurance and here is going to be a, like a tiller, going this way and that way and it's going to be many times here to get increases force, ropes, two of them move through the hole here and then I continue to move through here through. and then they come into the bed. And here my, myself is laying, sleeping, and in the night I wake up, I watch my telephone, I see maybe we're not exactly on the course, so I reach up, lie in here, and tense it a little bit, and then the boat comes back. But it has to be adjusted. Many people use autopilot and wind vane and things like that. In fact, I never heard about boats going across the ocean without that, except Slocum. But it was like in the 1895 or 97 or something like that, so it's like more than 100 years ago. But it's so simple, you know, and takes no electricity and no things on the outside. And, but of course, you need to have a little brain to think about how the force is working and things like this. Maybe that's one of the many people do it. And here is the setup. How I do it? Right above the bed. One first comes this picture. And maybe you can see here's the roof, and here's the roof clutches. And here's the more roof clutches. Here comes the roof from the rudder. And I just pull in one of them. And here's another one. Maybe you can see it more clearly here. Here's my handle. And it's a rope clutch, rope clutch. Rope, rope clutch, rope clutch. One go to port. One go to starboard. But I had problems with them, you know. 2018, everything went fine. With these things. But then, 2020, 21. This roof clutches didn't work any longer, so I have to tie them up with ropes. And this is the one. So I wonder if my viewers, if I can get some advice of a good roof clutch. There are many different brands out there. And when I let them go to see in the back, it should run really smoothly and should be good quality. That's, I can take, if, the ropes or lines gets a little bit smaller, it's still working. And this is how it's done. Here's a little mock up. So it's a rope clutch on each side, one here and one here. And one I want to tension. This is hard. And I just lose this one. I pull a little bit this one. And I lock it. And then I let go. And then there's a rubber band taking this and then I lock it again and in this way if I pull like one centimeter here or two I get a tremendous force and I maybe get adjustment of a tenth of a millimeter but if I pull further like this ten centimeter it gets more so it's the more I pull the more I get the more fine adjustment is with a little and course adjustment for the long. So I must say I'm very happy now with the rudders it's going well. This I'm happy with. And I'm happy with the center board. And the inter interior accommodation is almost done. And so things are coming together. And like the rigging, I got this well together with the most side by side, and this this amount here in the back, and I found a place for the oar, and one hatch here, and one hatch here, and the hatches are done, they are here, there's one and one there, and have this system to move them back and forth, and it seems to work well, and have a system to make handles with, so things coming together, and here is the things for the drum winches, for the drogue and sea anchor. 
I can lift up on the box. So, wow. Thank you for it. And thank you, Peter. <laughs>